Welcome to the channel. My name is Guru Boy. Today we do have iTech X15, which has a Google account on it, so we are going to bypass it. So first we need to connect to the internet. So here yeah, I'll be using Wi-Fi as my network. So we need to type in the Wi-Fi password. in the password make sure you type in the correct password for your wi-fi network after that you connect and the moment i saw that lock on the top uh, left corner i knew there is a google account on the, the phone so now it will ask for us to input our previous pin as you can see it was a pattern so we said we should verify our pattern our previous pattern which we did not know that got us to reset our device so as you can see it's not working so let's use google instead and after this i'm going to show you the procedure to bypass it And now you can see so you should verify your verify your account so if you do know your previous Google account you can just verify it and you will bypass this so now let's move back to the beginning now change this language to the language that I'm going to select I don't know if this is Russian or I don't know so let's begin but we change it back to english again so for those who used to complain about the language don't worry i just found a way to do it without using this language so just watch the video to the end now let's click and hold the globe symbol now select the last language settings click on it then add keyboard I think that's it here then we should add another keyboard layout click on it then here's it add now uh, let's move back and just put the language back to English or the language you prefer so now let's get started skip Click back to get to the Wi-Fi menu. Click back. So, oh, sorry guys, I just made a mistake. Now click back. Now we are on the Wi-Fi menu. Click see more Wi-Fi. Yeah. So add network. Let's click and hold the globe symbol again then language settings add keyboard so now you scroll to you see an arrow in front of any keyboard layout as you can see this this any one you can choose of any of it so click on the three dots on the right corner help and feedback remember to have a good connection else it will just bring you back so now you can see we have about Android switch switch Android access for Android uh, sorry so you click on that one and now you can see we do have share button over there click on that share let's go for Gmail click on it let's get the procedure add a Gmail account order now click the globe symbol click on it and let's change it to English now type in any Gmail you can type what I'm going to type g at g dot g then you can see the manual setup was first filled out and now you can see it. click on it now click exchange now on exchange let's hide the keyboard click select 
set lock continue with that pin fingerprint sometimes it does not work for some people so if this one did not work you choose either of this one as you can see it now work for me also so let's go in for fingerprint if pin so yeah let's input our pin code we are creating a new pin code for the phone and you can see let's confirm it and after that go back move back cancel and let's see if we do have the lock and now you can see we do have lock on our device so this is what is going to help us to bypass the google account on the phone so let's move back 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 to the beginning I can even continue here to the beginning here so click start remember not to forget your pin let's wait for it to check for it update don't copy and now you can see you still have the lock over there but after this you see the lock so click next then click back the back button over here now you can see we do have skip under the wifi we do have skip over there click skip and let's skip everything so now you can see the wifi even has yet disconnected itself so accept Hello, policy skip skip anyway skip now just a second we just wait for now let's agree to the terms and condition and select your language friends remember to subscribe to the channel the name is Google boy and let me know if you do like the voice so I can keep on using voice on my videos now let's go to settings and turn off the pin we set on the phone so lock screen then type in your code one two three four so now you choose wipe remove and now you can see we do not have any we don't have any lock on our phone and here you can see this is the detail of the phone yeah this is ITX 15 which model W6002 and now you can see if I lock the phone there's no lock on the phone and that's how you bypass your Google account verification on your ITX 15 thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel the name is Guru Paul. Peace.